Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss about the process. As you already know, system having many processes running and what process is run by which user and what are the state of a process, how you can run a process in background, how you can run in a foreground. So everything regarding the process we are going to discuss today. Before that, please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any of the new notifications. So let's begin. We have already one session open here. So, okay, let's uh, check the ID. It's a root ID. And now we will check hyphen EF. So these many of process are running in the system. You can see number of process, number of process and system D, I tell you this is one of the most important process. If you will kill this, then the operating system will go down and the process ID will be for this one. Okay, then subsequently the number of other running process. You can see here also let me grab for you. SSH so you can see here SSH root is done the SSH to this system you can see this here now let's go to the other uh, G gnome G gnome so genome is also that means it's related to GUI which is also running genome 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 okay so you can see all the listed process here uh, let's see one of the user get swd we have i think already one user which is a student okay let's open one another session login with this user oops it's a wrong password okay now you run any of the command let's say if i'm running top command top command will give you the system utilization okay just check the process top okay so you can see top command is running by the student account okay and if you want to kill it you might have to kill kill space id then let's see the another window okay you can see the session is already terminated okay let's run it sleep thousand it's running just see whether what are the process running grab sleep okay so you can see sleep is also running using the student account now now let's close this session and uh, let's say if you if you have process running in the background make it uh, n percentage n percentage mean running the process in background meaning is let's say if you won't run this one if you run this uh, without an n percentage you can you cannot get this dollar shell and whatever command you will type no use Be because it's dollar prompt uh, dollar prompt is not coming for you so you need to kill if you want to do another work you cannot do until only this process complete so you have to kill it so avoiding this do n percentage and your session will be available you can do anywhere whatever you want to do now see you have jobs running one sleeping this so if you want to bring this process in foreground i mean you want to see the progress just do one okay you can see sleep thousands is running okay here here we go and uh, now you want to check what are the process running using the student account you can see here sshd also running bash also running sleep also running okay so you can kill here this sleep and let's see whether it's killed or not so it's killed okay terminated you can see here terminated 
and uh, now i want to show you one of one more practical let's say this student running the process top and you have requirement to uh, delete the user account user account student so let's say you are deleting hyphen r student it won't allow you to delete the user account because user account already running this top process okay so what you have to do first of all you have to kill this process first you need to find out what are the process running using that account first of all top at top kill this one now let's see whether it's killed or not yes it's killed and try to see any other process try to remove the home directory still it's running another process running that's why it's not allowed to kill the uh, uh, delete the user account so kill this process and this process is related to 2701 that means SSHD once you will kill you will notice that this session is already killed okay because just now we killed it manually now you try to delete the user user del okay so cat etc pass wd student student account is now no more that error was what was reflecting is uh, uh, is because of uh, home direct student student home directory because it was not removed uh, because of some permission issue okay that's a different thing so guys i think uh, this video and uh, there is also one more command let's log in using the stu uh, student account okay student account is no more user add student to file exit that's fine student to password okay so not this one let's login using student to okay just run this top command again and let's say you want to there's also one command w which is which will show you what is the workload and how many users are there let's say system is already up from uh, 13 hours okay and uh, it's two users and these are the loads root and student 2 is uh, running into the system okay so what are the commands they have they are running this top command so again you need to find this top command top command process id and kill 9 let's see it's killed or not yeah it's killed So guys, this is what about uh, the process. There is also one more things are left. I think this I can explain using the help of PPT. So let me open the PPT. So here what you can see the process. Uh, this is a process and it's once is initiated, it may generate the child process okay the moment child process execute it will exit and it will go back to its parent process then parent process will start executing itself and it will go to the complete state okay sometimes child process won't generate so it will directly go from parent process it will wait if really required to wait then after processing it will go for the completion let's make it bigger okay so this is a new process let me run the slideshow okay so here what you can see this is a new process it may schedule or it may not be schedule it will be in ready state okay then it will start running going kernel for the memory process it may go for sleep also maybe waiting for some instructions or some executions or something else then it may wait for an event go back to the ready state 
there is also one more stop maybe for some of the reason it might suspend or some something we have done or user done or maybe because of system then it will go back to the resume status and it will be registered will go for the executions here is user uh, running user it may be it may be waiting here for some user executions or user input or something else or it may be related to this applications it after processing application it will go back to the kernel and it will uh, either exit or sometimes only sometimes it may release zombie process zombie process is nothing just left over of the dead process which was not cleaned up properly okay and at the end it will uh, so so that's a complete uh, life cycle of a process guys hope you like this video and and uh, you will subscribe to my channel also hope you like this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my channels Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.